It is a long walk back to the hub. The road is quiet today, giving Ender and company a chance to talk and get to know each other better. Ruka in particular has a lot to say. Note cast among her people for failing to die an honorable death in battle. She has been searching for a way to restore her tarnished reputation. Humans are not often viewed very highly amongst the Shek, but Ender's story of how he, Issa, and Hax escaped rebirth is certainly inspiring. If a slave can break his bonds, Ruka reasons, then surely she has a chance to regain her honor. As the group trudges across the parched borderlands, Ruka explains that the many bandits roaming in these parts often have bounties on their heads. The Shek have a dim view of thieves and would pay handsomely if anyone were to assist in their removal. Why should someone else profit from the eradication of such criminals? It is certainly a tempting proposal, though Ender feels a moment of hesitation. He remembers how Hobbes was beaten senseless by a relatively small band of dust bandits not long ago. Before they can hope to tackle this new goal, they will have to grow stronger. Mining and hauling copper is not a glamorous job, but it has served them well so far. If there was one good lesson taught in Rebirth, it was the value of a hard day's work. Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. That's what we're playing. When we last left off, we did a little bit of exploring. We picked up Hogs and Ruka. Seems like there's a little bit of a discussion here between Ruka and Hobbs as we, you know, enter into things. And a few. Oh yeah, yeah. I tried. I've, I've tried turning this place into a bit more of a home and also creating a place for us to store our stuff, but I guess this is only for raw iron. And I, I guess we could just store stuff in here. And that wouldn't be terrible. But, uh, you kind of like copper better. Why am I... You know what? Having uh, Issa run around isn't terrible. And this Hax, uh, Hax is not mining anything because... I have forgotten to empty that. Anyway, what are you guys uh, going on about over here? They're just chatting, and I'm kind of... I'm going to be mostly having Ruka... I think I'll have her... It'll be, yeah, I'll have her just run back and forth to uh, the hub. And my reasoning for that is... Uh, yeah, I had someone else also set to hauling stuff, but I guess that's the wrong... The wrong thing. So we need to increase our research. And like I said, I'm, I'm trying to make our... Our hosts look a bit more like a home. Just a little bit. If we can. So we need we need some books here in order to get some more research. I should remember to bring some food out to our friends. As Hobbs and Ruka have no food on them at the moment, as I recall. That could lead to some issues. Okay, Isa is still running. I mean he's also getting strength training, which is good. A little bit of that, or not, because of the heavy weight. Strength training is happening, though. Yep, that's good. And yeah, I hope to do the same with uh, Hobbs and Ruka. Fill up their inventories. I guess I'll get a backpack. Everyone's going to have a Phoebe's backpack. All right, inventory. Dump in the researchy books. Uh, research. Uh, training. Uh, weaponsmithing, clothing types, manufacture, industry, improved stone mining. I think that might be what we want. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really have a description, but I, I presume that's what we're looking for. So, we'll, uh, we'll do our research. And meanwhile, we'll, uh... We'll get a bit more money, because we are going to need to buy some supplies to properly kit out our our compatriots here. And also, 
again, like hauling stuff around and running with them, does improve our stats. So that's a, a key thing. I should get this uh, food cooked at some point. Is there an oven of some kind out at this way station? By the by. Naganadas? Blank. Pacifier. I'm probably going to buy that at some point just because I... Oh, goody. I actually need building materials for our characters in order to build the... Uh, I've got a table and chairs thing going here, and as you can see here, we need free building materials. One building material for each stool, and I think that'll it'll make this place look a bit more like a home rather than just like some place that we're that we are lying around. Let's also keep an eye out here because you never know when there's going to be danger. A bit of a bit of dust flying around. You seem to be doing all right here. So yeah, we'll fill up. Ruka's thing will run it over probably all the way to the Shinobi Thieves place just because that seems like the, the ideal location for getting that done. Hax, I, I don't even think I could fill her inventory up enough that, um, actually yeah I could. So we could get strength training on her. She comparatively doesn't need it, but strength on, having everyone strong is good one way or the other. So I guess I will... I'll just cut- oh god, what is this? That is bad guys. Fresh meat for the mines. What? 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 Got, uh, some slave mongers, okay. And a holy citizen, okay. Uh, good for you. And... Yeah, Ruka is gonna get knocked out there. Are you guys going? No, no, don't, don't do that. I, I, I appreciate that you want to help, but oh, okay, that's actually yeah. Okay, everyone into the town, please. Okay, and you guys are getting smacked around a little bit, and in fact, Ruka is unconscious, so we'll have to go out and rescue her. But there is too many of them for us to. The fight. Run, Hobbs, run! Get your athletic skill up. Okay, what's our best uh, play here? Probably close the door. Uh, or maybe run in here. Yeah, you leave me no choice but to use force. It. Is that Hobbs? Did they just. Oh no, there's there's me right there. Um. Yeah, let's let's attack the hungry bandits, I suppose, while we're here. Yeah. And well actually, you know what? You uh go first aid Ruka, please. Okay, so um okay, we have just some what is this? Just a nomad running around. Okay, that's cool. We've got 32 copper in here. We might actually want to create eventually. I don't think uh, our core group here, we're going to split off just yet. But we might eventually want to set up a group of people whose only job is to, like, maybe mine copper for us. We've got a lot of copper right now. Are we actually close enough to the store that I could, like, auto-sell the copper from here? Let's find out. I mean, I don't know if that's how it works or if that's something that can actually be done. But uh, I would like to find out. Is that okay? That is in fact that's something I can do. Oh, here we go. Just uh, or shift click, drop it in. Okay. All right. That is convenient, actually. Like really, really convenient. I like that. I appreciate that. I am going to buy if I can find it. There we go. Going to. Uh, yeah, let's leave this stuff for now. Uh, I mean, we've got 16,000. I think we've got enough to maybe consider upgrading the equipment of uh, at least Ruka. I think I kind of like Hobbs' outfit. You know, he's just kind of like that drunk but harmless grandpa kind of character. And I think we'll head back down to Squin. So I kind of want to buy more sleeping bags. They've got better shops there than here in the hub. 
So it might, it might be a, an idea to maybe even set up like some kind of secondary base over there, depending on how much business we end up doing. I like the idea of the hub as our home for now anyway. But we shall see. And I guess, like, we want to keep exploring just to get the agility of our, our friends here up. I mean, Ruka's a warrior, so it doesn't make sense to keep her around, you know, digging at rocks. Oh, and I should also sell this, because apparently I didn't get around to ditching that. Ooh, specialist grade, worth 8,000. Interesting. Uh, do I really want to... I mean, I guess... What do I have everyone else wearing? Mercenary lever armor. Yeah, I'll get her this back plate jacket. Weakens dodge, a little bit of dexterity. Yeah, so this is, say, a weapon for a fighter. Or for, I guess, more of like a heavy tank, I suppose. That'll all do for now. Uh, do I want to buy her a hat? The answer, I think, is yes. Armored hat. There you go. You can have a hat. And I'll buy one more Thieves backpack just so that Hobbs can have one as well. It just makes sense to give everyone a hat. I think. Or a, a, a backpack. We're all... We haven't really needed everyone to have a backpack as of yet. But at some point, I'm sure, we're going to have... You know, adventures and things. Anyone new here? Uh, we've got Parg, Barfug, and Gamson. I mean, I think, I, yeah, I can recruit both of them. It's actually pretty decent at martial arts. I don't really want to recruit anyone else right now, though. Not with our money situation being a little bit uh, questionable. Let's have everyone sit while we're waiting for Ruka to come back. I mean, that's why we have these chairs. Why is everyone constantly going into my house? You know what? This is not a public place. This is a, a private residence, thank you very much. Alright, 12 minutes in, we haven't really done anything exciting just yet. But now everyone's got backpacks, so now everyone will be able to uh, do exploring stuff. And let's see here. Yeah, and everyone's got some level of food on them. Okay, so we can go exploring again. Let's see. So we went... Yeah, I want to go to Squin again, I think. I mean, just... It, it's safe territory. Well, safe being a, a relative term. And not everyone went in the same direction. Alright, everyone uh, try to path together. Ah, and there we are, the walls of Squin as they kind of load in a big old chunk all at once. And I apparently can't click on anything. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't crash, game. Just takes, just takes a second. We're moving faster than the game can load or something like that. Or there's just a lot to load over here. So let, let's see what else we can buy in town. Oh, bag check, huh? Uh, okay. Our gear is acceptable. We have no, um, no criminally stuff in our bags. All right, so armor shop, bar, or I guess inn, weapon shop, other bar. This is a general store. And that's our traveling shop. Let's check out the general store while we're here. Get a bit of a bit of an idea of what we might have on hand. Uh, oh, come on, fellas, let's get going. Uh, fe fellas, there we go. I'm not. That kind of scared me for a second. They just weren't moving. Oh, it's because it's locked, I guess? We are moving through the streets of town though, right? Good, good. Alright. So if we go much farther, so if we start running into swamps. Also, this is like 
but traveler, yeah, travel gear. It also sells maps. So uh, when does uh, when does the town open, or the? Uh, I guess while we're waiting, we'll go hang out in the bar, and at some point, that shop will open. I mean, it's only five in the morning. I guess I can understand maybe it uh, not being open just yet. Oh, there's a guy called Kang here now. Oryx. Five booze barrels. Enderby. Okay, well, uh, let's go talk to Kang. Hello, Kang. Looking for protection, fragile flatskin. Maybe. Got any skills? I'm a Shek warrior, flatskin. Do you really need to ask? Um, uh, let's see. Lose the attitude and maybe we can work something out. I change for no one. You either hire me or you walk away. In the latter case, you'll die a fool. Okay, how much are you charging? 6,000 cats. My fee is 6,000 cats. I will enjoy the challenge of keeping a fragile flat skin alive. I hear your people get killed very easily. And this is supposed to make me feel better. Do you want to be protected or do you merely want your ego stroked? Because a Shek does not do the latter. Well, I don't have the money, I'm afraid. Just a little bit short. But now we know that there is a Shek warrior who apparently is willing to potentially join us. Looking to band together? No, okay. Bunch of racists in this town. We didn't break away from slavery and the holy nation for dealing with this, uh, this malarkey. No, sir. A hundred guardian. Alright, so our shops are still all locked up. Mildly unfortunate. Ruka's stats, uh, weather penalty, total equipment bonus. Yeah, okay, so overall, I mean, we're still very, very rough around the edges. A lot of guards hanging around, too. Oh, good, the stores have opened. Let's send Ender in and see what we can buy. Looking for something. Yes, yes, I am. Oh, I... This is also a human. Interesting. It is intriguing they have humans here. And maps. Map to Mongrel. For those desperate enough to face a fate worse than death, a promise of isolated safety and a future without slavery. Huh. That's actually not bad. An engineer's map. Post-ancient workshop. This is an ancient document by an engineer of the old empire. Details potential sites where you could find engineering research. A map of Vain shows the high villages. Map of the Shek Kingdom. I mean, it's kind of cheap. I'll buy those. Map to Mongrel, why not? Tech Hunter Library map. It's only 50 cats. A lost library of some kind, huh? Mercenary tent. Ooh, that sounds cool. Important for any traveler. These tents are easily constructed out of spare fabrics and could save your life in an acid storm. All right, I mean, camp shelter. Important for any traveler. Okay, I'll, I'll buy that too, because why not? Tech hunter's map. I mean, I don't want to buy everything here, but at the same time, I like uh, the world's end. Ooh, a tavern. World's End is an outland stronghold of the Machinists or the Machinists University. Tech hunters use it as the main home base when exploring the north. Okay, so that's the north. So maybe I'll leave that for now. I'm gonna buy these other sleeping bags as well. So we basically burned through our entire supply there. Alright. Tech map, Bane map, Shek map, Mongrel. It's tents, those are always cool. All right, so I mean we're we're geared up. Let's let's have a look at camping. So let's see a flat shelter, okay, and a mercenary tent. These are only made out of one uh, fabric. That's cool. Little stuff possibly, and let's go over to the general store. So if I keep a cloth fabric on me, then we can make tents. I'm kind of disturbed by the fact that there's apparently acid storms in this game. Oh, low blow. Come on, man. I'm just talking to the viewers. Oh, I get cut no slack in this game. All right, let's see here. Well, there's a fabric. Could be useful. Uh, bubbly bubbly. Raw flower. 
simple rug. Something something basic for the floor of your building. I kind of like the idea of that. Uh, let's see. Skeleton repair kit. We don't really have any skeletons around here, so we don't need to repair them. But let's have a look at our map. What What is new that we have unlocked? Okay, we got Last Stand, the Great Fortress, Admag, a bunch of hive villages all along... I guess this is a river or something, isn't it? Uh, what do we have over here? We've got Mongrel, which is in the Foglands. I mean, I'm assuming that's fog. That is fog, right? Fog or snow. I mean, we got kind of close to it. There's stack. I mean, it's close to Holy Nation territory, and we'd have to go through Vane or through here in order to get there. Um, oh, and what's this? Ruins, and there's like a bunch of craters and things around here, so I don't know how I feel about that. So I don't know if I ended up unlocking anything that's immediately useful to us. Hmm. Well, um, how about we go this way then? See what we can find. We'll kind of go just outside of Squin. And I will cut away until we encounter something exciting, so I will see you shortly, like. Okay, what do we have here? Hungry bandits. Okay, so probably a good time to run. They do appear to have seen us, so let's, uh, they have to cross the river to get to us, though. So, if we can just, if we can simply run, then we might be okay. I mean, they don't actually, well, they're, they're kind of circling towards us, aren't they? But, fortunately for us, we are superior at running in just about every way, probably, hopefully. And if we can at least get into the water, then they won't be able to attack us anyway, so... Yeah, we're kind of following the... Oh, we're actually following the river right into the swamps. That could be mildly problematic. But, uh, you know how it is. Also, that kind of looks... Yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah, I was going to say it looked kind of like a giant skeleton, but yeah, that's kind of a bone, isn't it? All right, so here we go into what appears to be Swampland territory. Right. Now, my gut says that swamps are probably not a good place. I mean, I don't know if there's any poison mechanics in this game, but if there is, this is where you would uh, expect to find it. Small copper resource, only big enough for one. Well... Now, I've already said I don't really think we should be here in the swamp, so I think we'll... Maybe we'll just kind of follow along the edge, like the outer border. We'll kind of see where we end up as we very, very slowly swim our way across. Alright, dangerous times indeed. Also, I apparently forgot to start my timer again after pausing. Yay, I mean, I don't... Oh, there's a bit of metal in here. Wreckage. Kind of wondering, like... Like, this is a bit of a post-apocalyptic setting. We know, like, there's talk of an old empire that clearly had superior technology to us. But, uh, I'm kind of wondering how far in the future we are from that, uh... That particular apocalyptic event. Since, uh, what is it? I think, um, like, the Eiffel Tower... For instance, I remember some documentary on this, if, like, humans disappeared or whatever. Uh, it's like the Eiffel Tower would rust away in, I think, under a century? Maybe just over a century. Something to that effect. No, but, like, it really wouldn't take that long. So, okay, I mean, it, it says we're in the swamp. But it's pretty obvious that we're actually just at the edge. What is this? A village of some kind, perhaps. Ah, stinks... Wait, watch it. The swamps are full of monsters lurking and hiding in the vines, waiting to pounce on their prey. Okay, that's actually really good to know. Monsters, huh? Sounds like a challenge. My sword is waiting. Shit, you're always so tense, you know that? 
Whatever your Sheck Warriors are on, I want some of it. Okay. A bit of... I love that, um... That's, like, such a nice little detail. It's just that our characters will kind of banter with each other. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this, then? Uh, whoa. Into the ground a little. We have... Hungry Bandits. Oh, this guy's got a bounty on his head. So we can actually carry... Some of these folks back to, uh... Nomads, Hungry Bandits, Goats... Now let's get over here. We can, uh... We can help with this. Or, you know, at least we'll have, um... Where's that guy with the bounty on his head? Starving Bandit, who's unconscious. Yeah, this guy's got a bounty. Who's our strongest? That's Hacks still, so... You're the, uh, you have a bit, a bounty on in your head. So let's, uh, we'll first date him. Or actually, wait, we'll have Hacks, uh, pick him up. Then we'll first date him. Or, you know, whatever, whatever works out. Yeah, there we go. And then Ender is, uh, you guys aren't going to attack us, are you? Uh, the answer appears to be no. I think they just ran back. Maybe some of these, uh, hungry bandits woke up. Let's see. I can't imagine that Hungry Bandits have much in the way of loot on them. Uh, let's see. Hobbs. I'm actually gonna have Hobbs maybe... I'll have this as a backup weapon. I kind of like the idea of him being a martial artist, so we'll leave it at that. Everyone's got shoes, right? Everyone does appear to have shoes. We have our Bounty, who is currently sitting here. I mean, 312 cats, that's not like a terribly big or exciting bounty, but it's something that we can do. So, yeah, we can get some money. Actually, I kind of wonder if uh, someone necessarily needs a bounty. Like, if they're criminals and I turn them in, do I still get still get a bit of that uh, sweet cash for it? Maybe. But also maybe not. Who can say? Oh. Uh, everyone, please gather up. I mean, I like that it's kind of open here. If it was a bit more fertile, I would probably consider, you know, building something here. Maybe if it had more copper as well. Though I, I did notice in the game options, there's like stuff like raids apparently, since you can adjust raid frequency. So it would be kind of a little bit like RimWorld, I suspect. If we build a base, then we'll have raiders show up at some point as we sink into the earth here. fish. I mean, whoa. Like some black mountains over there. Maybe let's head over in that direction. Oh, what's this? Holy military base. Well, let's, let's go there first. Oh, yeah, there it is. Our heroes can kind of make that up. Or make that out, rather. Why is Ender falling behind everybody? Okay. It's in ruins. That's, uh, useful. Flesh cleaver, horse chopper, ninja blade, long cleaver. Okay, so there is... There is equipment here. There is stuff that we can take and make our own. Kind of maybe gather into the middle here. Ninja blade. Is that better than what we have? Iron plates. Long cleaver. Horse chopper. Mercenary club. Yeah, might as well grab everything. Can I rebuild this? I cannot. It's not that. Uh, that's not a thing. That'd be kind of cool. Just buy, uh, buy this thing, make it our own. Okay, so what do we got? We've got iron sticks, mercenary clubs. I mean, it's a lot of weapons, basically, is what I am. The impression I get from this. Okay, so if we look at the map, we see there is a way station here. So let's uh, let's go investigate this. We apparently fly in midair. Kind of that's kind of just a, a funny thing to me. That you can actually outrun the terrain loading. 
Uh, aside from that, I mean, this is really good experience for all of us, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, our athletics is, it's getting up there. Not nearly as good as Ender or like our initial trio who had to learn how to run in order to just survive. But, okay, these guys actually have like gear and stuff. Uh, it occurs to me I actually probably should have checked to see if they were friendly before just running in their front door. Okay, so they've got a, what is this? This is a mechanical shop and a, just a way station bar thingy. And this belongs to the tech hunters. Well, I guess to start off with, let's see, uh, what are you buying? I would like to trade. Uh, I mean, you don't have anything that looks terribly exciting. More basic furniture, we already know that. Advanced harpoonery. Not bad. Again, not really something we need right now. We also still have these on our hands. The last seen cowering in a raptor hole in the swamps. So, I mean, I guess if we wanted to dive into travelers on the eastern trading route, I don't know what that is. But I don't really know what we can do about it. Yeah, this is all like garbage tier stuff, so I don't feel bad. I Yeah, I'll, I'll sell the iron plates. Seems like something that would be pretty simple to stock up on if we, like, really needed it again. I'll get rid of that as well. And definitely that, because you're not a heavy weapons user. Alright, good. Um, let's see. There doesn't appear to be any food here, so... That would probably be in the way station. Let's uh, go check that out. And then I guess we'll circle back at this point. All right, there's there's some people here. So I was trading in the hives the other week. Ooh, it's story time. And I noticed the brown stuff them lot builds huts out of. It ain't stone and it ain't wood neither. Oh boy. That's mildly concerning. Nah, I guess it ain't. Never really thought about it before. Darps, a drifter. Two of the tech hunters. So they make their stuff, I mean, why don't we have buildings made of that stuff outside of the hives, eh? Those are the questions to ask, my friend. Uh, we could buy some more food. I don't think we necessarily need it. I mean, let's see, free. If we buy two more sleeping bags, then everyone will get a sleeping bag. Uh, we could research bolts. We got some tools for cooling, I guess. Actually, might as well just buy more, more meat. And yeah, I kind of like the idea of everyone having a, a sleeping bag. So I'm going to... Oh, and I can't afford it. Oh, well. Good enough, I guess, for now. Maybe I will have to send us back to doing some work. Let's actually... We'll circle north, cut through the valley, and then back to the hub. I guess we'll have to go to Squin to turn our bounty in. But, uh, we have, we have made progress. Oh, crap, he was still talking. I don't know, it don't look like it came out of the ground to me. Actually, I uh, read the rest of this. Could be, uh, let's see here. Could be the red sand, maybe if you dig deep enough of round vein. What are you saying? Two Moon drank too much rum last week, threw his guts up all over the bar. What I'm saying is... Stuff inside Two Moon, it looked real similar. So it's their vomit? I don't under- oh, wait. No. They make it out of regurgitated stuff? Is that- is that the impression I'm getting here? No! That would be a horrifying revelation. I- I can't, uh, I can't fault them for that. Oh, there is a- a fight going on over here. And what do we have here? Are dust bandits attacking hungry bandits? Okay, and we know the dust bandits are much too strong for us. I mean, let's see. Hungry bandits have pretty low stats. These guys have considerably higher stats. Let's uh, put everyone into sneak mode and kind of... Kind of see what's what. Yeah, we'll try to slip around them a little. Okay. So, that is a thing. 
I am kind of thinking maybe I'll have Hobbs and Ruka. I might switch them over and make them. Actually, if we could, uh, yeah, path over this way. What a. I mean, they're they're going back to what appears to be their camp. If we can just kind of slip past them. Uh, guys, if you could, yeah, keep going that away. That'd be great. Unknown tower. What is this unknown tower? Okay, there is a unknown tower here. I mean, we could slip closer to that. Can we actually see a tower from here? Doesn't look like it, so our characters really have... We know it exists, but our characters don't really have any way of knowing that. Unless we get closer. Hmm. That is beautiful. I mean, if, uh, if there is one thing that Kenshi does right, and I would say it does a lot of things right, it is simply... Oh crap, we're actually heading straight for the tower. <laughs> Okay, well, that's a, a thing that we are apparently... Oh, shite. Uh, how fast can they run? 15 miles an hour. Why can't you run faster? Because of encumbrance. Okay, um... Do a quick trade with hacks, you can. There we go. Okay, you're up to 14. You're only 13. Also because of encumbrance, I presume. Right. Oh, we're in for it now. Didn't realize they saw me. Oh, Jesus. That is a lot of guys. Um. Okay, um... Let's see, if we look at our map, our best bet is, there's actually a rebel base here. Have we been here? Maybe. Let's just tell everyone to go over there and just kind of hope for the best. Again, Ender and company find themselves on the run. A wrong turn on the road brought them to a tower guarded by dust bandits. Could this place be their base of operations? There's little time to find out. But Ender makes sure to commit the location to memory for future reference. This first patrol around the borderland did not go quite as planned. Returning to Squind empty-handed has been demoralizing, but Ruka urges the group not to give up just yet. The west lies the Sten Desert, where the Shek capital of Admeg can be found. She suggests they will have better luck in their pursuit of bounties there. Ender nods, hungry to claim some kind of victory in this venture. Though outwardly he maintains a confident demeanor, inwardly he is having doubts. He did not ask to lead this group, yet it is increasingly apparent he is viewed in that light. The others have placed their faith in him to win them wealth and reputation. Everyone is counting on him now to determine the course of their destinies. He wonders if he is really worthy of that respect. <laughs> 